Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening whenever and wherever you're watching this video from. Welcome to my channel. If you're, this is the first time being on this channel, please consider subscribing, like the video, and also share with your friends. So let's solve this examination question. This question uh, is coming from 2024 examination question uh, in under internal exam. Okay, that is ECZ, Examination Council of Zambia. Now, this is linear programming. This is linear programming. Let's solve it together. We're going to solve the whole of this question. Okay? Everything that is here, we're going to solve. Let's embarrass this question together, my good friends. Alright? Answer the whole of this question on a sheet of graph paper. Okay? A businessman intends to make two types of products, A and B for sale. The cost of making product A is sixty kwacha and that and the cost of making product B is thirty kwacha. The businessman has three thousand to spend on the on the products. Mm, okay. He decides to produce at least twenty or twenty of product product A and at least ten of product B. Let X B the number of product A and Y be the number of product B. Write three inequalities which represent these conditions. And it is four marks. Mm -hmm. So let's solve A first. Okay, so uh, question A. Question A here. We are asked to come up with three inequalities, okay? So the first inequality you need to be... Uh, you need to understand this. You need to understand this question. So this this type of question, linear programming, is about understanding what they they are talking about. Listen, they're saying that you have three thousand to spend on this project, and you have you need to buy or need to make the cost of making that product A is sixty and B is thirty quads. So meaning you don't need to exceed. Whatever you are going to to order or to make, you, sh you shouldn't exceed the money you have, okay? So, sixty is A, that is A represented by X. So, I'm going to write sixty X plus 30, 30 Y should not exceed, should be less than or equal to 3,000, 3,000. So just forget these ways after a point here because they will just confuse you, okay? Just forget them, all right? So when you reach this point, check. You can cancel out what is common. You know that 30 can go into 60 and 30 can also go into 3,000, 3, all right? So 30 here is 1, 30 into 60, 2 times, all right? Then... 30 into 30 into 3000 okay it is 100 okay it is 100 suppose 3 into 3 is 1 then that is 0 cancel so the final inequality here guys it will be 2x plus y should not exceed should be less than or equal to 100 so this is the inequality number what number 1 all right, inequality number number one, and they are saying he where is this one? He decides to produce at least twenty of product A. Okay, so twenty of product A. So I'm going to say A is X. So I'm going to say X at least is greater than or equal to greater than or equal to. They're saying how many? Twenty. Twenty. Okay, this is the second in the second inequality. Are we together? Okay, the last one, still the term is at least, at least it means greater than or equal to. But they're saying it is type B, so we are going to use Y. So Y to be at least, which is greater than or equal to 10. Are we together? Very good. So this is the third inequality. So four marks. Mm -hmm. We are done. This is four marks. Very simple, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to the next question. They are saying, 
using a scale of 2 cm 2 cm to represent 10 units on each axis okay meaning on both axis right 2 to represent 10 then in the x-axis, it should range from 0 to 60, meaning 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And in the y-axis, 0 to 100. Okay, y-axis 0 to 100, which is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, what? 100. And shared the unwanted region to show clearly the region in which the solution for the inequality lie. This is for marks. Very, very simple. Guys, if we are still together to this point, please just subscribe, give us a like. And also uh, a comment. Let's proceed. Okay, so this is our graph paper here, guys. All right. So we don't have, we don't have, um, we don't have the negative part. This is not the same. Uh, this is not like a, a cubic function where you have you have negative thing. You can start from here. Okay, this will be. Our starting point is 0. So, in the x-axis, we are told that to end at 60. So, 0, 10, 20. Since it is 2 centimeters, 2 centimeters to represent 10 units on both. Okay? Meaning, each single box here, you know, it is 2 centimeters. So, it should represent 10. Not 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh -uh, it is 10, you add 10 to that 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So, here is 0, 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, and this is the x axis. The y axis we are told to end at 100. So here it is 10, 20, okay, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 80, uh, 80, 90, 100. Yeah. Okay, this is our graph. Okay, our graph. Remember, I'm using a pen here. We shouldn't use a pen. I'm using a pen because uh, because of visibility. If I were to use a, I was to use a pencil here, may it may not be visible to you viewers. Okay. So. Nicely with a ruler, you can draw the x, x or y plane. Are we together? Okay, then you indicate nicely here. This is the x axis, and this is the y axis. Of course, this is the y. This is the y axis. Then check. Uh, in the x axis, it is the product. D, product in the x axis, I mean, this product A. Then in the y axis, is product B. So in the x-axis here, I'm going to write product A, then y-axis, I can just turn this paper nicely, then I write here product what? Product B, okay? Product B, like that. Okay, see? This is neat. Uh, let's now begin. What are we going to do? We're going to plot these inequalities that are here. These inequalities, okay? These three inequalities. Let's start with the easier, easier one. So we're going to start with the x and the y here. This will be the last one, okay? Because it requires a little bit of calculation, calculations, okay? So x is 20. So we're going to go where x is 20. Where x is 20. So this is where x is what? This is where x is uh, 20, okay? 20 so with the ruler nicely I'm going to draw a vertical line at x is equals to what x is equals to 20 okay so you extend until it reaches where there is a hundred there okay like this Okay, now you indicate nicely this is x is equals to 20, all right, here, this is x is equals to, you use equal signs, please, on the graph, on the graph here, 
you use equal what? Equal signs, not inequality symbols like greater than or equal to. All right. So since it is greater than, greater than is a wanted region, we are going to shade the opposite, the less than. Are we together? This part is the unwanted what? Unwanted region. So we're going to shade the unwanted region nicely like this. Okay, this is the unwanted D. Unwanted region. Okay. This is the unwanted D what? Unwanted region. You are done with this inequality. The next inequality is y is equals to what? 10. y is equals to 10. So we're going to go where y is equals to 10. So y is equals to 10 here. This is where y is equals to. Is equals to 10. We're going to draw a horizontal line. Okay. Okay. Horizontal line like that. Let me just extend it a bit here. Okay. All right. Then I indicate here, this is y is equals to 10. Use equal, si um, equal signs on the graph. Now, let's shade the unwanted region. So, this is, this is the greater than the wanted region. So, we're going to shade the opposite with the unwanted what? The down, which is the unwanted D. Unwanted region. Okay. So, like this. Our graph is forming shape, uh, shape now is, is simple but straightforward. Now let's do some calculations for the last one here. Let me show you how it's what, how it's done. This last one here, we're going to draw a table. We're going to draw a table here like this. Let me just draw you a simple table. Okay. Okay, like this. This is x. This is y. Let's put zero there and the input and zero here where there is y. Okay, then where there is x here, substitute with what? With zero. Where there is x here, substitute with zero here. So to solve for what? To solve for y. So it will be two times zero for x plus y is equals to hundred. Just use equal signs. Two times zero. This is zero y is equal to what 100 so here y is 100 are we together good good i'm glad that you are following so here y we're going to substitute y with what is zero and so for x so it will be 2x uh, plus y is zero is equal to one what 100 so this will be 2x is equal to one Hundred. We're going to divide by two both sides, so x is equals to what? Fifty. Here, y was what? One hundred. So, what's this? Fifty, not five hundred. X is equals to fifty. So here, x is equals to fifty. So we're going to plot these. Zero comma hundred. Zero comma hundred. Zero is here. Zero comma hundred. Y is hundred. Just here. This is where 0, 100 is. Then 50, 0, 50, 0, 50 is here, 0 is just here. Okay, this is where 50, 0 is. Are we together? Mm -hmm. So we're going to connect the point uh, here, 50, 0 and 0, 100 there. Okay, 50, 0 and 0, 100. You see, the this line is cutting 50, 0. And also 0, 0,100 here. So you indicate nicely that this is this is x. Um, this is 2x. 2x plus y is equals to 1 what 100. Now, shading the unwanted region here is very simple. So I'm going to shade the um, upper part here because we're going to because it is less than or equal to. So we're going to shade the greater than party. Okay. The greater than part so here this is the wanted what the wanted region okay we are done with plotting we are done with what we are done with plotting this is this is what it looks like after um, after doing uh, uh, after plotting the inequalities let's now do the last thing the last part which is check this is the last part here the last part is saying 
the profit on the sale of product A is 80 kwacha and that of uh, 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 and the profit on the sale of product B is 50 kwacha here how many products of each type can be make to maximize what to maximize the profit all right so to maximize profit here we're going to say we're going to say this is what we're going to do all right this is what we're going to do first we're going to come up with the objective function well, we're going to come up with objective function and this is the objective what objective function z is equals to check the profit of on the on the sale of a is 80 quarter so we're going to say 80 x since x represents what a then that of b is 50 so we're going to say 50 50 y and this is this is the objective function okay so we're going to use these coordinates these coordinates uh children of god so this is 20 comma 10 okay this is 20 comma 10 and this is 20 comma 60 20 comma 60 and this is um where this point here this is this is 40 41 42 43 44 45 45 comma 10 so 45 comma 10 here all right so 45 comma 10 so these are the coordinates that we're going to use so let's start with the let's start with this coordinate here all right so if we start with this coordinate where there is 80 here x we're going to substitute with the 20 since c that is the x then here 50 times y which is 10 okay so the answer here is giving me so here is 2100 2100 okay 2100 when we use 20 comma 10 this is the profit we are finding so let's use let's use 20 this let's use the 45 10 so 45 times uh, 50 or plus 45 times 80 plus 50 times 10 okay so for the 4100 4100 that is the profit let's use the last coordinate which is here 20 comma 60 so 80 times um 20 plus 50 times 60 all right, we're going to, what are we finding as our profit here there? So here is 4,600 quarter, 4,600 quarter. So when you compare these amounts here, this is the highest amount. So this is the maximum profit. And we have used 20 products, uh, product, uh, products of A and the security that of B. So therefore, this person, this person, he needs... He needs he needs to produce he needs to produce he needs to produce or to, or to make yeah I mean that of you should make yeah so he needs to make 20 type a and 60 type B okay type B to maximize to maxi to maximize profit okay to maximize profit all right so that is the answer that is question what question c all right then the last question is saying calculate the maximum what the maximum profit so to calculate the maximum profit is very simple this is the maximum profit so i'm going to say this this is d let's copy this one 80, 80 times 20 plus 50 times uh, 60, which is 4,600. That's the maximum what? Maximum profit. So we are done with this question. Okay. We are done with this.
this question. If you are still together to this point, consider subscribing and also liking the video. Thank you. Thank you so much.